you know, it's, uh, the, the big problem is that I, I don't think people actually think about this. I, I, it, it's disappointing. I think there's a relatively small percentage of people who ask questions. Well, well when, I, when I was a kid growing up in the 1950s and into the 60s, uh, I was under the impression, I don't know where it came from, I was under the impression that adults ask big questions, that they, why am I here, uh, you know, what does it mean to be uh, human? I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't ask those questions myself in any serious way, but I always had the impression that that's what adults did. And um, the older I've gotten, the less persuaded I am that people actually ask those questions and that most people are involved with uh, wanting to get by. They, they, aren't, they aren't necessarily looking for pure hedonistic pleasure. They're not necessarily looking to make all the money they can, but they're interested in creating a comfort zone. I, let me tell you this. It seems to me that most people are interested in personal peace and affluence. They don't want to be bothered with unnecessary questions, unnecessary controversies, unnecessary uh, crises, and they want to have enough money to be able to do pretty much what they want to do. Uh, so I, I think those are the two major American values right now, personal peace and affluence. And I, I think that's 